anything is possible within reason. Mercury conjoins optimistic, expansive Jupiter in the socially conscious sign of Aquarius on March 4th. This is the third time these two are meeting up in the skies. The first time was on January 11th, and the second time was on Valentine's Day. So this is the third hit, and it's kind of a completion in this Aquarian process that these two have been working out for us. So in order to talk about this aspect, we really have to put it in context of the Mercury retrograde. So Mercury has been retrograde in Aquarius for a lot of February. And um, basically the Aquarius part of our house is undergoing major renovation because we've got Saturn there, we've got Jupiter there, and throughout February we had a lot of other personal planets, namely Venus and the Sun and Mercury. So this area of our life is creating a lot of our attention wherever you have Aquarius in your chart. So the Mercury retrograde really helped us to kind of slow down, revise, rethink, reassess. And um, yeah, this is kind of the final step of this Mercury retrograde process with Jupiter. So the first part of the retrograde really like presented the problems, the things that we need to solve. The second time was the boost of optimism from Jupiter, the cookie that it basically handed us and said, hey, you're onto a good path. Then Jupiter and Venus met up in Aquarius and that was insanely creative. I don't know about you, but I just got so many downloads of good ideas and it just really revitalized me, that transit. So Mercury conjunct Jupiter for the final time is that final expansive horizon that, hey, you've done all this work, Look at all the new insights that you have. Look at all the sh micro shifts that you've made during, during this time, during this period. Now is like the last puzzle piece that we need to put in place. As I mentioned on my Instagram um, at some point last month, it's, it's linked on my website. I said, you know, with this aspect, it's impossible to dream too big because Mercury conjunct Jupiter it's just expansive. It's anything is possible. It's the belief. It's the confidence. It's the optimism. But because it's co-present with Saturn, Saturn is just like those bumpers on the, on the bowling alley. So like you can never go throw a gutter ball. Like Saturn is always there to kind of keep you um, from from overshooting yourself. So while Saturn is there, you're not. You're just not going to go beyond your means, basically. So don't be afraid to dream big. And I hope you have been with this aspect because this is just really affirming and it's kind of the dose of possibility that we need right now, like at post 2020, like we can really benefit from Mercury conjunct Jupiter, or really any Jupiter aspect right now. <laughs> so yeah, this is your dose of optimism. It's really great for anything related to spirituality, for innovation. This is also, 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 Mercury conjunct Jupiter in socially conscious Aquarius is really fantastic for signal boosting. I wanna give a shout out to Mercury's Brood. They did a, a Kickstarter and they nearly tripled their goal. And when you think about Mercury representing capital and you think about Jupiter being the expansiveness and the prosperity and the abundance, and you think about Aquarius, which is group effort and trying to improve society on some level or bring more voices to the podium um, to create a more socially conscious, inclusive environment. So I thought that that was a really wonderful manifestation. and. So happy for them, so happy for Mercury's Brood. And if you haven't heard about it, you definitely want to check it out. So that is your astrology shot of the day. I hope Mercury conjunct Jupiter is hella good to you. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. You can also head over to my website where you can find out more about my Foundations of Astrology course beginning on March 24th.